Hello YouTube. So today, since uh, we're getting closer and closer to the release of Shin Megami Tensei 5, I wanted to show you guys a poll. <coughs> Sorry, a poll done in the Japanese website Netorabo, where they asked the fans of the series to vote for their favorite Shin Megami Tensei title. So as you know, or maybe you don't know, I don't know what you know. <laughs> uh, there are several titles in the series and it's a long-running series so there are more Shin Megami Tensei games than Persona games since uh, Shin Megami Tensei and Megami Tensei they started before Persona of course because Persona is a spin-off there are a lot more games in the series uh, along with their own spin-offs that's not Persona which are not as popular as Persona but they're pretty good too so anyways let's get right into it so this is a top 8 and don't ask me why they didn't do a top 10 or top 5 but it's a top 8 and it was done between 9th of June, June 9th to, to June 22nd and uh, 2,125 votes total Number 8, Shin Megami Tensei 9 with 13 votes which are 0.6% of the total votes it was released in 2002 and it's supposed to be between Shin Megami Tensei and Shin Megami Tensei 2 in the timeline. So this is a Gaiden or a spin-off and but it's connected to the original the, you know the original world. So yeah, uh, this was released on the Xbox which is very strange it being a, a um, RPG. Honestly, I have never played this one, but I guess it's popular you know, considering it was inside of the top 8. I don't even know how many games there are in total, but yeah. Let's move on to the 7th place. 7th place, Shin Megami Tensei 4. It had 69 votes with 3.2% of the total votes. So this took 10 years since the release of Shin Megami Tensei 3 and it was released in 2013. It's not a direct continuation or direct sequel of the third game and it has a new world settings etc so the main character is called a samurai and it's a pretty different uh kind of story i guess compared to the other titles and this was the first Shin Megami Tensei that i got it that i played and i really enjoyed it it's one of my favorites maybe it's because it's the first one i played but i'm not sure i mean if it wasn't good i wouldn't have gotten into the series so i guess it's good so this is number seven Number 6 is Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse or in Japanese it's called Final. It had 132 votes and 6.2% uh, of the total votes. So I think it's almost double the amount of votes from the last place. And this was released in 2016 for the Nintendo 3DS and it's supposed to be a, a sequel to Shin Megami Tensei 4. I played this and I don't think I enjoyed it as much as 4. I think that this game was easier and the difficulty curve was more balanced. Everything is more balanced and it's a better game overall, but I just enjoyed 4 so much more because it had those weird difficulty curves and hard to understand map and like it, I just have more memories of playing 4 than Apocalypse. For some reason. Uh, I remember getting this at a used game store in Akihabara when I went to Japan in 2016. So I went there with my husband to visit my family in Japan and one of my uh, uncles live in Tokyo so we stayed in Tokyo and instead of staying at his house we rented um, like a monthly apartment like you pay for a month and you stay there for a month or a week whatever. It's like a hotel but it's a uh, it's an apartment. <laughs> it's a place that you can rent. And we got one place at Akihabara near the station. So we used to go uh, to buy games every single day. And this was one of the games that I picked up to play. Yep. Good memories. Anyways, number five. Shin Megami Tensei If. Had 168 votes. Let me see how many. 133. So about 35 more votes. 36 more votes than the last place. It had 7.9% of the total votes. This is a Gaiden, or like a spin-off, another story, an alternate story of Shin Megami Tensei and it was released in 1994, same with, uh, along with Shin Megami Tensei 2. 
uh, it was very well known or very differentiated from the original series as it had the guardian system where which allows you to revive your character even if the HP goes to zero. Um, it was known to like take hints from the original Megami Tensei games as it's based in modern Japan and also it's supposed to be the basis of the Persona series that was released later. So yeah, I had the game on Super Nintendo. Yeah in the box somewhere <laughs> i i don't i think this is also on switch online i'm not sure but yeah next one number four shin megami tensei deep strange journey or strange journey i guess they added votes for both of the games because it's the same game or uh, i think it's called strange journey redux uh had 230 votes with 10.8 percent of the total votes it was completely different compared to the other number titles or the other spin-offs Gaiden. It was released in 2009. You're supposed to... Um... So it's like a sci-fi story. I did a review on this. On... No, wait, I didn't do a review on it. I did a video comparison between the remake and the original game. I played both versions, the original game that was released in 2009 and the one from 2017. I feel like it was released so much like longer ago because if Apocalypse was released in 2016 it's only one year difference but I feel like this one I played more recently oh yeah because I did play more recently though <laughs> but um yeah this is my favorite Shimano Tensei game because it's so good I love dungeon crawlers and I feel like the story was so interesting I love the character design I love the supporting characters and everything it was just a perfect game for me. If you haven't tried it, you should. Number three. So this is top three. Shin Megami Tensei 2. It had 269 votes with 12.7% of the total votes. It was released for Super Famicom in 1994. In 2002, it was released for the PlayStation. In 2003, it was also uh, released as a remake on Game Boy Advance. It was supposed to be set after the story of Shin Megami Tensei. And it was more known for being like a cyberpunk setting and it, they added a new system where fusion allowed demons to inherit skills. They had it light and dark or casinos and they improved the systems overall. So this is the sequel to the original game and I think this is on the Nintendo Switch Online. I was playing the... I played the this on the PSP on an emulator, I mean on hacked PSP and then I was also playing on the Switch online. It's very good. It does feel old but I really like the music is so good in these games. It makes me feel like I'm there. It, it doesn't happen very often with uh, many of the games but like in Shin Megami Tensei games when I listen to the music it makes me feel like I'm actually there in that world which is kind of um, strange. <laughs> it's a strange feeling but I like it. Second place, Shin Megami Tensei. So this is the first game. Well, first game in the Shin Megami Tensei series. Uh, 428 votes with 20.1% of the total votes. So every one in every around five people voted for Shin Megami Tensei as their favorite title. It was released in 1992 for the Super Famicom. Uh, it inherited many systems or it inherited system the system from the Megami Tensei series but they updated the whole game settings it's supposed to be set in 1990x in Tokyo there were lots of comments about how they would like the this game to be remade on the Nintendo Switch with the Game Boy Advance systems so remake of a remake <laughs> um, yeah, so this is also on the Nintendo Switch Online, and I don't know if I have this original game. I think I do, I'm not sure. But um, but when I saw this game for the first time, the packaging and the gameplay, I thought it was a weird game. Like, it's very creepy, scary, they're talking about demons, and these characters look very scary for a kid, you know? So I was never, like, I didn't even try until after I tried Persona 4. But overall, it's a very good series and this is the first game, so it's not very surprising that it's in second place. 
So what's the first place? I, I honestly thought that this would be... Oh, of course. It's gonna be Nocturne, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yep. First place, Shin Megami Tensei 3, Nocturne. Along with Maniacs and all the other... Uh, any other variants. Uh, 816 votes with 38.4% of the total votes. Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne was released for the PlayStation 2 in 2003. Later on, they released Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne Maniac. And later on in 2020, they also released Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remastered for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. It had a different world settings from the other games. It, uh, it was in 3D. Even till this day, it was very popular with the fans of the series. Especially with the press turn battles where you can take advantage, or the other way around, <laughs> uh, all the weaknesses of the enemies uh, affected in the later titles that Atlas released. There were comments about how this is the first. This was the first game that they played in the franchise. They really enjoy the 3D graphics of all the demons. Uh, they are playing the HD remaster a lot, etc, etc. So it's not very surprising that this is a favorite game because I know that it's very popular. I played the original for a while and I gave up because it kept getting me motion, giving me motion sickness when I was playing it on the PlayStation 2. Um, I do have the original game and everything, but I just couldn't play because I was getting sick. So I waited till the HD remaster came out and I was able to play it on the Switch Portable. It seems like I get more sick if I play it like on a big screen TV, you know? So I have to be either really far away or play on a portable system. So that worked and it is a really good game. Uh, there were some parts of the story where it was very memorable, like the Matador fight. I think it's called that in English too. Um, I didn't use a guide when I played it for the first time, so it was hard, but it was just the right amount of difficulty for me because I had already played other titles in the series. <laughs> but you know, as usual, I always say like, if this is the first time you play any of the games, Shin Megami Tensei games, you might be discouraged because it's not easy uh, or you might need a guide, you know. But it's still a very uh, challenging and a very good game. So yeah. So this was the pick for the Japanese gamers on the favorite Shin Megami Tensei titles. I know that not all of them were released outside of Japan, but I would like to know which game you like best from the franchise. Like I said, mine is Strange Journey or Strange Journey Redux along with um, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4. But let me know about your favorite game in the comments down below. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.